Diego, California. Here, the focus is on developing the perfect light for the digital age, an international mega project. This is where ASML, the manufacturer of EUV lithography systems, develops and produces its light sources. I've been involved in a number of fairly large development programs since, uh, since I actually transitioned from being an academic into industry, but there's been nothing like this development, absolutely nothing. The significance of the development has been, uh, has been massive from my perspective. It was supposed to be just another evolutionary step in microchip production technology. It turned out to be a revolution with a long run-up. Tau is the perfect example of my three rules for success. Never give up, never give up, never give up. Hi, my name is Ye Zheng Tao. I'm a design engineer for UVSOS. Alex is a sharp, sharp guy to mm -hmm. get the technology. Hi, my name is Alex Shafgans, and I'm the director of EUV Source Performance and Source Development Programs. Danny is a technical leader. Danny thinking that guy looks like a lot of fun to work for. He's always got a smile on his face, and he's always just so rigorously technical. Hi, my name's Danny Brown, and I head up EUV Source Technology Development in San Diego. Ever smaller and more powerful, these are the requirements for the microchips of the future. This new generation of lithography systems again makes it possible to generate even smaller structures. The key to digital progress is reducing the size of the structures. Smaller and smaller, more and more powerful uh, semiconductor chips uh, means that uh, we're, we're driven to do one of the patterning steps which uses light at shorter and shorter wavelength. And so EUV is basically the current, uh, you know, newest generation of light source. In order to make that commercially viable, you need to have, uh, have a light source that can produce enough power at this extremely short wavelength, 13.5 nanometers, uh, very, very almost soft X-ray. We come in as basically how do we produce enough power at that wavelength in order to make lithography a, a reality. The primary source is a high power laser custom designed by Trumpf. Laser pulses turn droplets of tin into hot plasma, which at 220,000 degrees Celsius is 40 times hotter than the sun. This generates the EUV radiation. How does it work? As tiny droplets of tin shoot past, the laser strikes them 100,000 times a second. A leading laser pulse precisely hits the droplet, flattening it into a pancake. The trailing major pulse transports the energy and generates the plasma, emitting EUV light. The most proud of our achievement is on conversion efficiency. And conversion efficiency describes how much or what fraction of the laser power that you use to make the plasma is converted into the extreme ultraviolet wavelength that you use for photolithography. It tells you how efficient is the process, how efficient is the plasma. Without high power, there is not enough productivity, no EUV lithography, and there can be no higher performing chips. At the beginning, we were only generating just a few watts of EUV, and it seemed like a, an almost impossible task to drive up to the multi-hundred watts of EUV that we would require for EUV commercialization. However, I think with a, with a combination of uh, dedication, innovation, and a lot of hard work, we were able to move, the, move that power needle up in the end. It was late at night. I think it was the night before Christmas Eve, as it always is. There's a knob you can turn which impacts one of the key parameters. And it was literally turning the knob and watching the system go well over 200 watts in real time for the first time in history. It was such an exciting moment. So I'll never forget that. This was the breakthrough for an entirely new generation of microchips. EUV technology can be found in smartphones and tablets since late 2019. However, especially technologies such as autonomous driving or artificial intelligence need ever faster and more powerful microprocessors. It is amazing to learn the challenge, to come out the concept, and to prove the concept, and all the way push it to the production. And that's a very amazing personal feeling. The result? One of the world's most complex machines. I, I'm moved to reflect on what Edison said, which is that uh, innovation is 
1% in uh, inspiration, 99% perspiration. And that's pretty much what it was like. There was a huge amount of work in order to make EUV happen and certainly to take our developments forward, but we needed that little innovative spark that, that would lead us to the right discoveries and give us the information we required in order to then take that, work hard with it and turn it into practicality. Pretty much a monster of a machine, but extremely attractive for the digital world. ASML has already sold more than 100 of the new lithography systems. The funny thing is, you know, looking back in retrospect at it, it all looks so simple. And why it take you so long to do the same whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, I had that question multiple times. <laughs> but all good inventions look simple. Don't ask us for a second take. <laughs>